Well, I mean, it comes back to <coughs> um, an ongoing thread in your work about uh, visual music. Yeah. Um, and also goes back to your introduction to this talk about <coughs> your background in music generation and applying yeah. visual imagery <coughs> to that. Out of interest, which came first for this piece? Um, image came first. Yeah. So the soundtrack was, yeah, supposed to finish the picture. Right, right. Um, it's a shame one can't really do justice. Lovely to have that documentation of it in situ rather than purely the source yeah, yeah, material. Yeah. But it has a wonderful sort of three dimensional quality that, of course, a recording like that can only give you an idea of. And then yeah. being, being there, obviously, you have the, the water vapor that comes yeah. up, and it, you know, the whole experience of like the, the river being just. You know, being quiet and then this thing coming up yeah. and the work coming and then it goes again so it is, yeah it's quite different. Yeah. Was there actually sound when it was being shown or was that, that added later on? Um, there, uh, there was. Okay. Yeah. I was hesitating because it didn't want sound and then Video that's not, uh, is, is that actually, has that been edited on top later or was it well, in actually this, what people were hearing? Okay, in this actual video it was edited on top later because it, this was um, recorded for the premiere screening where the sound didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> but after that there was sound. <laughs> But even even the, the water sound was that added? <coughs> um, well, what you're, you're hearing <coughs> visitors does the audio track of of the yeah. water spray of like the audience, and then what is added is the whole soundtrack of the film itself, okay. which was only added this one time because that's why they did the documentation. So yeah. But when you say that the work has no meaning, uh huh. Does this mean that you have no relationship with the work itself? I mean, very often with abstract things like this, I think that people have a relation, the artist has a relationship with the work, and the public will have a different relationship to it. Yeah. So therefore, things like spinning collision, did you have a specific message that you wanted to transmit, or um, yeah, with those, with those, having people sort of interpreting that to their own, their own life. Um, well, a bit of both. With, with those, with the more political pieces, I think yes, there's a message there. Um, no, I'm not too worried if everyone gets exactly the message I wanted to put across. I think it's fine for people to kind of bring to the work what whatever they bring, and then therefore kind of get from it what it, you know what's kind of based on what they're bringing to it. Um, and that's that, that, that's fine. With other pieces, there isn't a message, you know, in the same way as there is with uh, with spinning collision. Um, and it's yeah, it's it, for me it functions much more on on the level of music or painting or, or music and painting, um, where it's uh, yeah aesthetic and it kind of you get have an emotional response or, or you don't, you know. And does the creative process on the production of um, I think with the more abstract work, um, there's more possibility for it to, um, for it to just kind of wander more as as you're making it. I think if you know if you have a certain message you want to, uh, you know, in some way bring across, I guess that kind of defines a little bit what it is that you're doing. But having said that. Uh, still with Swing Collision, there, there was a lot of trial and error and trying things out and um, just going with something because it looks beautiful and then, it, you know. Um, I think generally what I'm more interested in like throughout my work is kind of op making, creating a space for the audience to, um, like a reflection space almost. So you can you can look at the work and it and it makes you think or it makes you feel rather than saying okay this is 
exactly what I want to say. Do you think any piece does that? Hmm? Do you think anything, any, any artistic piece does that to a certain extent? Um, uh, it, it depends on the intention, I think. I think some, some people make work and they want to have the message very clear, and others uh, make that definitely with, with animation. You know, it's more narrative animation. I think definitely uh, people say, oh, you know, this is the story, and how what's the best way of telling the story so that everyone understands it. And I'm, I'm not interested in that. Which the reaction for this one? Um, I think it was like 20k projector or 15k. Like Lumen, like a, a fairly strong projector, but it's just a, it's a standard like HD projector. Yeah, not lasers or anything. Although it, it could be. Um, the second time we shot it, which was this summer in New Zealand, they initially they, they said they have a laser <coughs> projector and we can do it with lasers, which I got very excited about. Uh, but then it didn't happen in the end. It's a bit of a Max, I'm just thinking that as things that we're getting quite late now, it might be, I'd say there's time for questions and answers and, and drinks at the end. It might be an idea to show a couple together if that's all right with you. Well, there's only one more left. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> show it twice. I've, 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 I'm, I'm not just making this up as I go along. It's all scripted. Yeah, no, I didn't know what you'd scripted, though. I, I, I didn't know how many you had left to show us. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, there, there's one more, and it's not even like a finished piece. It's, I showed it in, in my doctorate show, um, but um, it's still a work in progress. Um, basically, it's a, two, it's a split screen uh, piece. Uh, called All Rot, and it is. Mm, no, I'm not going to say anything. Just play it. <laughs> it's it's yeah, it's a loop, and it. Um, I think it loops a few times, so we can just after like a minute, you can turn the lights on, and we can start talking if you want. Okay, cool. In there, what were we actually seeing there? What were the materials? Um, it's a. Um, it's a golf course, it's a, like a crazy golf course, and uh, it's like it's a derelict, uh, decrepit uh, mini golf course uh, <laughs> that's uh, reanimated, and um, basically it's kind of a site-specific work that I made. Uh, that I started uh, <laughs> doing a residency in Germany in this place called Artol, and all right, Artol, okay. And all right, this kind of anagram for art hall. Um, and basically, it was this very weird place um, that had all these high security mental institutions around it, uh, where the, also the artist residency place was. And there was this crazy golf course. How oh, oh, about wow. <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, so I thought it could be interesting to kind of take the site and try and transcend it into something. Less earthly. It's very appropriate. I mean, if you if you visit Bethlehem Hospital, they have um, a museum of art by inmates. The idea of mm. transcendent mm. states and so on. Crazy golf. It'll yeah. it'll it's still wonderfully uh, appropriate. That that's how you're creating this transcendent piece. And then the title, like all rot, is kind of refers to we all rot eventually, but also all rot in German means like outer space red. So there's like, yeah, levels stuff. Mm -hmm. Stuff. And uh, to bring us up to date, what are you working on at the moment? Um, uh, just packing. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, um, yeah, that, that was from my, from, I showed up the first time in my doctorate show, which was in end of June. Uh, and since then, I've kind of been recovering, recuperating from my doctorate stresses. And um, and then packing for Hong Kong. I'm, I can't wait to make some new work, mm -hmm. but it might not be till I don't know, till the new year. Right, right. Yeah. I'm off. Actually, no. Maybe maybe the, maybe next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm off to Copenhagen tomorrow, where I'll be working with um, 
a collaborator who's, who helps me uh, develop the Love My Life performance uh, visual instrument, which is another part of my practice that we haven't covered at all now. Um, basically came out of, uh, again, kind of my musical background of seeing my dad, you know, recording an album in the studio and then going out on tour to play it. And uh, this, you know, perpetual animator's problem of being kind of trapped in a room and losing all your friends. And I thought it'd be nice to, if I could maybe earn some money to support myself, plus get out of the house a bit more by doing uh, animation in, in, a, in a more real-time uh, context. So I started VJing uh, after the RCA, and then over the years uh, have kind of refined that into something that is more of a kind of audiovisual concert scenario. Um, and I'm so the latest incarnation of that is a setup called the Hatler Riser, which is basically uh, a, a series of uh, different uh, modifications in real time of uh, speed rotation, uh, acceleration, zoom uh, uh, in, into this kind of graphic universe that, I, that I've built. Um, and yeah, so I'll be probably doing some updates to that uh, next week. So I think that's it for me. Okay, well, um, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. <laughs> Agreed to come along tonight. I've wanted to invite you uh, for quite a long time now, but I've never actually quite plucked up the courage to do so. So when I saw you a while ago, and you went, "Yeah, okay, yeah, sure, no problem." I was really, really delighted. And, Thanks for having me. Oh, well, you're very, very welcome. Another round of applause for Matt. Oh. stick around and, uh, and, and chat and maybe uh, ask uh, Max a few more questions if you could if you could bear to ask some more questions. Uh, for those of you who want to rush off, um, our next event is in uh, first Tuesday in November, then the next one will be on Twelfth Night in January. We'll always meet first Tuesday of each month. Uh, I'd also like to thank Captain Zip for faithfully videoing tonight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this recording will eventually go up on our YouTube channel. Anyway, thank you all for coming. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.